Well, good afternoon, everyone. We are here at the Schooly Palooza outside of Quartzsite, and we decided that we're going to go ahead and make a little meal for tonight, and it's going to be a white bean chili chicken. I think I've made this before, but this is really one of our go-to that we really enjoy. So stay tuned. Come back, and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, everyone so it calls for black pepper the black pepper is one teaspoon chili powder is a half a teaspoon dried oregano is a teaspoon it's one small can of the diced green chilies it is a um, teaspoon of cumin two teaspoons of minced garlic and a teaspoon of salt and if you're going to be using the dried beans you have to add extra stock so uh, this is four cups that I'm using. So in order to do it, it calls for five cups. So I'm going to put six cups of stock in here to substitute so that I can use the dried beans instead of the canned beans. I'm going to put all this together for you now. And I have my onion in here also. I've already chopped it up and put it in here. I mean, which I didn't think you wanted to see how to chop an onion. And I'm just going to put all of this in here and... We're going to cook it for 20, let me see, it is, okay, so I'm going to add in my green chilies, and since, like I said, I'm using the dried beans, I'm going to put the four cups, that was the first one, and it calls for five cups if you're going to use canned beans, and I like to use the dried beans, so you have to add, we have to do one cup for what it calls for, so it's going to be six six cups it really calls for six and a half cups but i find it's, it's a little bit too thin if i do it with that so i like to just stick with the six cup rule here so we're going to put six cups in here with my onion okay and then we're going to excuse my back here we're going to put a teaspoon of black pepper teaspoon of oregano Teaspoon of ground cumin. And I believe it's a half a teaspoon of chili powder. I keep getting that one messed up for some reason. Yes, a half a teaspoon of chili powder. And there's a lot of dogs out here if y'all can hear them. We need a teaspoon of salt. I usually don't do it over this, but I am today. And we're going to add the beans to this. So we're adding everything except for the meat right now, guys. And two teaspoons of minced garlic. Because it says two cloves, so I just use two teaspoons of minced. Just easier for me. Okay guys, so at this point, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. We don't have to do anything to it. We're gonna put the lid on. We're gonna seal it so that it does not vent. We're gonna do a manual, 28 minutes. And we're going to just let it go. And in 28 minutes, I'm gonna come back to you and show you the beans are gonna be done almost. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken in there, and we're going to cook it for another five minutes. And then it all should come together, and I'm going to show you how you do that. Okay, y'all, it's been 28 minutes, and I did a quick release, which means you just do the vent real quick as soon as, the, as, soon as it goes off. So I've done that, and now I'm going to open it. And I'm going to give it a stir. The beans are not going to be done yet, by no means. They're pretty... Some of them are soft, but they're, most of them are not. But they will be. So after, the, after we do that for the 28 minutes and do a quick release, I'm going to add the two chicken breasts in here. I 
They're still a little frozen. It's supposed to be five minutes, so I'm going to go about seven. Oops. Put that on top of the thing. Okay. I added the chicken breast. I'm not going to do anything special to it. I'm just going to put the top back on there. But one little thing you have to do when you're when you're going to reseal as soon as you've already opened the pot, you need to run underneath some cold water so that it will loosen up that um, pressure nozzle so that you'll be able to close it again to cool off your top. So I'm going to see if I, see if I did it enough now. May not have. I did. And I'm going to put it back to sealing. And I'm going to do manual again. And I'm going to adjust it now down to... Like I said, it's still kind of frozen, so I'm going to do seven minutes. It says five if it's defrosted chicken breast. You're supposed to do 13 minutes if you're using chicken thighs. But I'm going to go ahead and just do the manual at seven minutes, and I'm going to come back to you and show you after seven minutes. We're going to let it also naturally release for 10 minutes before we open the pot. And I'll show you when we come back. Okay, guys, here we are back again. We're now through cooking the chicken, which we did for seven minutes because it was frozen, remember? So we did it for the seven minutes, and then we let it go underneath natural release for 10 minutes, and then I hit the venting thing to undo it so that to release the rest of the pressure. And then I took the chicken out, and I've shredded all the chicken. And I'm going to put this, the last of it in here. Remember, this was two chicken breasts I used. You're, you're supposed to use um, a pound and a half of chicken thighs, but... I didn't have any chicken thighs, so I figured we'd just use two chicken breasts. And they're really kind of big chicken breasts. So, I want to let you see what it looks like when it's done. And I'm going to go ahead and just let it... I'm going to keep it on warm till our get-together tonight. And we'll eat it then. But this is, the beans are now done. They're, they're, they're still holding, you know... They still have some texture to them, but they're not mushy is what I'm trying to say. So all together, it took about 40 minutes to cook this all together. So that's not too bad, I don't think. So we're going to just put this here, and I'm going to leave it on the Instapot and leave it on the Keep Warm Cycle till we're ready to eat tonight, and that's, that's done. But I also have to tell you, I have to show you, my little grandchildren, me and Daryl's grandkids, and Wells and Ellie have been wanting me to say hey to them. So, hey, Wells and Ellie, I love y'all. And they also wanted to see the puppies. Excuse me. <laughs> Tell them, hey, Bentley. Tell them, hey. Say, hey, Wells. Hey, Ellie. Princess P says, hey, Wells. Hey, Ellie. We love y'all. Me and Grandpa love y'all so much. Hey, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and share on the videos. Thank you. Have a great day.